And, and that brings us to App Map. App Map is from Boston, Massachusetts. Presenting for App Map is Elizabeth Lawler, co-founder and CEO, and Kevin Gilpin. Welcome to the stage. Developers are the engine of growth and innovation, building the products we all rely on. But developers spend up to half their week in toil. Toil is the tedious work in software creation that arises from complexity. Toil robs 25 million developers of the joy of coding. Over 80 million developer hours are being wasted just today in toil. This costs businesses over $85 billion a year in wasted effort. Toil, over 70% of developers report that toil makes them unhappy. Unhappy developers quit at one of the highest rates of any industry, costing businesses heavily. Companies spend billions on observability, production monitoring, and security testing to find problems in code. Developers toil in mountains of data to find information to fix performance issues, remediate security flaws, and rework broken code. Developers are lost in a maze of tools they don't control, away from the coding they love to do. Developers, if you're lost in toil, you need a map. We built App Map so software developers can see the behavior of their software as they write code. App Map delivers personal observability soft and performance and security analysis to software developers as they work to reduce toil. And App Map is in the tool developers love the most, their code editor. Go to demo. This is an app map. App maps are accurate, up-to-date runtime data about software behavior as it is at any moment for any environment. The latest version of code in production, in a pull request, and even in the uncommitted changes developers are working on. App map traces code behavior wherever it goes, into the data stores and across service boundaries. For the first time ever, Developers can see the behavior of software as they write code. App Map streams real code behavior right to the code editor. This is a list of app maps, one for each request made to my app. App Map automatically analyzes this data to find runtime issues while developers code. In this app, it's found two issues, a performance issue and a security flaw. First, the performance issue. A query is repeated many times in a loop. This will cause the slowdown in production. Up to half of today's performance issues are code issues like this, and App Map found it instantly. Next, the security flaw. The user is authorized before they are authenticated. You can only see this when the code runs. Broken access control is the number one issue in the OWASP top 10, and no other tool can find it in my code editor. These are just two examples of the runtime issues <laughs> that App Map can find while I code. And these are dropping today in the VS Code and JetBrains marketplaces. Back to slides. We built App Map from the ground up to meet the needs of developers. We started with data, purpose built for personal observability. That's why developers that use products like Datadog and Splunk also use App Map. AppMap is deeply integrated with popular programming languages and frameworks. And AppMap is open source to support new languages and new communities. Companies adopting personal observability for their organizations have faster time to code onboarding and reduced time to repair flaws from weeks down to minutes. AppMaps are shareable for collaboration. And AppMap reports on fixes so organizations can track software quality improvement. Tens of thousands of developers have adopted AppMap in their code editor for personal observability, from Fortune 50 companies to the Global 1000 to startups and coding schools. AppMap has five-star ratings in the VS Code and JetBrains marketplaces. Postman recently partnered with AppMap for their community of six million developers. AppMap automatically generates open API data as developers work and streams it directly to Postman collections. This is just one example of what runtime data in the code editor can do for developer, developer tool adoption. 
AppMap is the only tool to shift performance and security runtime analysis all the way left into the code editor. Delivering the developer observability experience is a massive market opportunity to disrupt incumbents in the performance, application performance monitoring market and dynamic application security testing markets. But there's another opportunity ahead to support the $40 billion of developer adopted tools from, with runtime insights inside the code editor. Developers, AppMap is free for individuals, students, and open source projects in the VS Code and JetBrains marketplaces. Join us. AppMap helps development teams reduce toil and deliver more performant, secure, and reliable code faster. And for developer-focused organizations, let AppMap help you deliver more value to your users. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uli, let's start with you. Um, awesome presentation. I love the color of the slides, too. Um, can you start, uh, in terms of you said the, the platform is integrated into, has an integration into other existing platforms? It is. It's integrated okay. into the VS Code and JetBrains code editors directly. So it runs entirely inside the code editor. Okay. Great. Brian? Yeah, this is, this is great. Thanks so much for the presentation. Um, and it's a problem that definitely resonates with me. At my previous life, I was a software engineer, and we actually had drawn on the wall this giant map of how this stuff works. It's <laughs> been a huge help. Um, my question is about, you know, you've got, you've cracked distribution with the single player mode, which is great and is a huge part of de developing a large um, uh, DevTools business. How do you think about moving from that local use case into things that are closer to production, which are likely more monetizable? Okay, I'll answer that. Um, so basically, we're looking at the an analytic capabilities as being a monetizable service, as well as the reporting capabilities that we mentioned in the slides. But I think that there's another opportunity really to become part of the de what I believe is being called the developer experience infrastructure, right? Which is the ability to deliver tools and services to be consumed by developers inside of their code editor. If you think about what the standard of, you know, standard of developer experience is right now, it's dev docs, it's, you know, Stack Overflow, etc. We would really like to help companies understand how to deliver playbooks of consumption to developers directly. And I think that allows us to keep a very broad freemium tier available to users. Josephine? I'd love to understand, even within that single player mode, what does engagement look like? How often are developers, you know, how much time are they spending in AppMap? Is it part of their daily workflow? What are the use cases they're using you for the most? That's actually a really great question. So we released AppMap in 21 as just visualizations for code. And it's a very sticky product, so we were able to develop a really strong community around that. They helped us surface some of the analytic use cases that you see here today. This is what they were spending out their time on. So from that perspective, it's actually a really great product as a distribution engine for, for future adoption. Connie? Can we talk a little bit about the demographics of your existing user base? Mm -hmm. Do they trend more sort of newer developers who are just getting started, or are they more experienced? And what does that imply about how you're going to be able to go to production code in, within enterprises? Yes, it's actually quite all over the map. In fact, you know, the toil that you saw on the slide earlier tends to be in larger organizations, even amongst experienced developers. We've had uh, architects come to us and use app maps to justify to CFOs and other C-suite individuals for more resources or time to refactor, et cetera. So it really is quite, kind of a bimodal distribution of new developers and really experienced architects. We've had people mapping code camp projects, and we've had people map million line Java or, you know, Monolith, so it's <laughs> yeah. all over the place. It's all over the Can place. I ask a very short quick follow-up? So it sounds like there's modes of being able to communicate to outside stakeholders with this work product, and then modes of being able to just manage your own processes better. Is that the two typical modes you see? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's a personal productivity process, but I think the real value is to, uh, is to illuminate and create common artifacts that people can use to actually discuss state, um, which is invisible. <laughs> Cool. Jordan? Yeah, so just, just as a follow-up question to, to, to what Josephine had mentioned, um, 
you've had some really strong growth on the individual side, and I, I completely understand how using that to, to uncover use cases would be really, really valuable. On, on that growth, how are you seeing, how are you seeing that user engagement? Like, what, what, what does that retention look like? How many people are coming on, and this is becoming part of their everyday, this is, this is an everyday product many times a day versus people that drop off? Yes, so for developers who share their experience with us by turning on telemetry, they engage with the product two to three times a week, which is about akin to you know, either finishing up a work product or starting a new project. So the engagement is actually really high. Excellent. Can I ask one clarifying question? Uh, did you mention that you had an open core with this technology? We do. Okay. It's open source. The agents are open source. The libraries are open source. It's incredibly important for us to also, we started with a model where the data residency was local to the code editor. That allowed us to spur growth because obviously this is very sensitive data. It's so easy for any type of organization to use it because we don't send data to the internet. They don't have to sign up for a service. Um, so that's a great way to get started when, you know, to have, be a very small company and have large companies be able to pick up your tool and use it. Have you thought about something like, like publishing artifacts as one of the monetization mechanisms that you might employ for the sake of, for example, a CTO communicating to a CFO or that type of thing? Um, what do you mean by publishing? So just being able to share. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So app maps are shareable over a service. Yes, we create uh, URLs that, app, that people can use to um, embed app map data in other um, in pull requests or in, uh, in communications. So they can actually see and talk about um, how things are working. Yeah, there's a server side that we didn't show in the demo, but you sign up with your GitHub or GitLab login, and then you can get a URL to an app map and paste that anywhere. I like how all the judges nodded at that question. Yes, we all agree. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That was AppMap. Give them a round of applause. <laughs>